walking around Kmart, there was definitely a theme that was calling my name. <laughs> Bringing the magic into your house can come in so many different types of ways. And today I'm sharing all the things that I've purchased from Kmart this year that are kid friendly. So it's not gonna cause me any anxiety that they're gonna accidentally break something. So if this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned, give this video a big thumbs up because it really does support my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell to get notified because we are uploading Monday to Friday this Vlogmas. Let's get into it. Whoa, oh, oh. Merry Christmas! If this is the first time I'm meeting, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Beck and I'm a mom to four and I love Christmas. I love it. decorating for Christmas and this year I purchased my Christmas decorations probably back in October, but I know that Kmart still has stock and everything that I've purchased is stuff that the kids can't break and I've even thought about like contingency plans just to make sure that I have peace of mind during this festive season and that the house still reflects that magical Christmas feel that I want it to. If you look behind me, you can see that we've got a open floor plan for our kitchen, living and dining room, which means when I think of what theme I want to bring into our household, I try and keep it pretty cohesive between all of those spaces. Walking around Kmart, there was definitely a theme that was calling my name and that was that winter wonderland. As much as I'm proud to be Australian and to have summer Christmases, which are its own unique ball game. I really wanted to give the kids that magical white Christmas feel. The first child-friendly way of decorating your kitchen is to get Christmas themed tea towels. I feel like these points yet are very kind of tartan are your traditional Christmas colors, which means that it doesn't matter what's happening, these are just a really good staple to bring Christmas into your house. Honestly, best way to decorate, especially with the tiny little humans that love to explore everything. The next thing is not necessarily a decoration, but it's something that I wanted to share because on Christmas day, here in Australia, we love our cold meats and salads. So I picked up a handbag. This is definitely a must because it keeps your ham nice and fresh throughout the season because even though we pick it up probably Christmas Eve, we'll munch over it for a couple of days. And then this next idea was something that I didn't know how I was gonna get around it because I really wanted a white tablecloth. And I know you're saying to me, back a white tablecloth just screams anxiety with little kids. But what happened is Spotlight had a sale for clear tablecloths. So if you look back, you can see a little bit of a shiny glisten on our table and we have picked up a plastic tablecloth that will go over the top of my white tablecloth. This is the start of our winter wonderland theme. So on top of my tablecloth, I have got two centerpieces that I think are going to be absolutely stunning. Whenever we travel, I love picking up snow globes and the kids like to admire them, which is the reason why when I saw these kind of snow globe candles that are battery operated, they're plastic, I thought, what better centerpiece to have on our Christmas table this year. The next spot I like to decorate is our buffet that stores all of our containers and just breakables. And I really wanted to create that winter wonderland on there. And when I saw these two gorgeous looking snowmen, I couldn't walk past them. These are just made out of foam balls with coverings on top of it. So even if the kids accidentally pull it off the buffet, if it drops to the ground, it's not gonna smash, it's not gonna break. I think they are just adorable. And they were probably the item that really inspired me to go down this winter wonderland path. Now between these two snowmen, I wanted something that was foresty. And originally I was gonna get a three pack of wooden white Christmas trees until I saw this item.
This wooden silhouette shadow box is just gorgeous. It's not the sturdiest of materials and I feel like I am gonna have to put this towards the wall because if it did fall, I would be worried that it would break, but it's kid friendly because even if it does break, it's not gonna shatter and it's not gonna hurt the kids. So that is gonna go in between my snowmans to create a little winter wonderland. And finally, to bring it all together, I like to decorate our living area or our couch. Every year I love to pick up two cushions and it's getting really exciting because my Christmas cushion collection is growing. This year, rather than going blatantly obvious with the white winterland theme i've just picked up cushions that have that winter feel whether it be that white color or it has just that cozy feel to it so the first one is joy i really liked the look of this rectangular cushion i've usually gotten square ones in the past so when i saw this other rectangular cushion i thought it was the perfect pigeon pair I think it was about two years ago, maybe my first Vlogmas, that we did a red and white theme and I had a gnome garland that replaced this here. So I think I might bring that out of storage, but I do have a new garland for this year to link in that winter wonderland and it is gorgeous. I've never had flocked decorations before. I've seen it all over YouTube. It must be massive in the States, but here in Australia, it's not really a big theme that people go with. So I'm really excited to see how it goes, how it weathers over the next month or so. But these are my kid-friendly winter wonderland theme decorations that I've purchased from Kmart this year. If you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up because it really does support my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell so you get notified when we upload every Monday to Friday leading up to Christmas day. Because this ranting gig doesn't come on the real book, we only have each other. Stay tuned for tomorrow night's video where we will be decorating the place. Bye.